Who can be against internet freedom? Who can be against freedom? Everyone wants freedom. I want me personally to be free and I want the internet to be free of corrupting and distorting influences. And I think that's a serious, important objective we should have. The problem is that because it's such a broad and diffuse term, you're working with a number of people who have a completely different understanding of internet freedom. And it depends context specific, it is geographically specific. And it means not being against the idea of it, but just saying, whose freedom are we talking about? What kind of ways of addressing a lack of freedom? Who is responsible for the lack of freedom? And all too often you find that it is a combination of states and market forces working together, of private groups and the biggest governments who are working together. And whatever language they use, they may be saying, we're the biggest internet freedom advocates. You have to pin them down and say, right, what is in place? And I think all too often, the term has been abused. So it's not that we should avoid the term necessarily, you just need to clarify what it's about. If you just want to make the internet free for the Googles and the Microsofts and that's the end of it, then that's not really being free. The internet was supposed to deliver individual empowerment, it was supposed to actually allow different voices to be expressed in these new wonderful platforms. And at the moment it's going in the opposite direction. So if it's going to be free, we have to deal with that issue. So my internet freedom may not be the same as someone else's, but I'm not ready to junk it, I'm ready to actually fight for it.